Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. We invite you to join us at 1 Oakley Avenue in North Providence, Rhode Island. This podcast is presented to you by The Way Ministries, supported by listeners like you. For donations, live videos, podcasts, and more, please visit www.thewayministriesri.org. Thank you and have a great day. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Through the Bible in a Year with Pastor John. So glad you could join me today to get a portion of God's Word. Today we're going to begin with Day 158, June 6th, Psalms 31-35, to a musical manifesto. Overview. Think of today's reading as forming a pyramid. The outer two Psalms, 31 and 35, form the foundation and deal with believers struggles against their enemies. In each case, David finds his refuge from external foes in God alone. In the next level of the pyramid, 32 and 34, David faces internal woes, unconfessed sin, and secret fear. In each situation, the psalmist learns from his failures in the past so that he and all who read his words might respond rightly to similar perils in the future. The peak of the pyramid is formed by a beautiful psalm of praise to God, whose plans stand firm forever. Chapter 33, verse 11. Psalm 31, Refuge for the Ravaged. Psalm 32, Restoration for the Repentant. Psalm 33, Rejoicing for the Righteous. Psalm 34 and 35, Rescue for the Rejected. God's Care Over His Children. Insight. Memorable Lyrics, Psalms 31, 1 to 24. Many of the thoughts of Psalm 31 are quoted or referred to in other parts of Scripture. See if you can find the lines of this song that inspired Jeremiah 20, verse 10, Jonah chapter 2, verse 8, and Luke 23, verse 46. Insight, Scripture Memory, Old Testament Style, Psalm 34, 1 to 22. Psalm 34 is one of seven acrostics in the book of Psalms. Each verse begins with a successive letter of the Hebrew alphabet as a memory aid. In this way, the reader could trace and remember David's sequence of thought, and those without access to Scripture can quote the psalm more easily. Psalm chapter 31 For the choir director, a psalm of David, O Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. Save me, for you do what is right. Turn your ear to listen to me. Rescue me quickly. Be my rock of protection, a fortress where I will be safe. You are my rock and my fortress. For the honor of your name, lead me out of this danger. Pull me from the trap my enemies set for me. For I find protection in you alone. I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. I hate those who worship worthless idols. I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your unfailing love. For you have seen my troubles, and you care about the anguish of my soul. You have not handed me over to my enemies but have set me in a safe place. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in distress. Tears blur my eyes. My body and soul are withering away. I am dying from grief. My years are shortened by sadness. Sin has drained my strength. I am wasting away from within. I am scorned by all my enemies and despised by my neighbors. Even my friends are afraid to come near me when they see me on the street. They run the other way. I am ignored as if I were dead, as if I were a broken pot. I have heard the many rumors about me, and I am surrounded by terror. My enemies conspire against me, plotting to take my life. But I am trusting you, O Lord, saying, You are my God. My future is in your hands. Rescue me from those who hunt me down relentlessly. 
Let your favor shine on your servant. In your unfailing love, rescue me. Don't let me be disgraced, O Lord, for I call out to you for help. Let the wicked be disgraced. Let them lie silent in the grave. Silence their lying lips, those proud and arrogant lips that accuse the godly. How great is the goodness you have stored up for those who fear you. You lavish it on those who come to you for protection, blessing them before the watching world. You hide them in the shelter of your presence, safe from those who conspire against them. You shelter them in your presence, far from accusing tongues. Praise the Lord, for he has shown me the wonders of his unfailing love. He kept me safe when my city was under attack. In panic I cried out, I am cut off from the Lord. But you heard my cry for mercy and answered my call for help. Love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to him, but he harshly punishes the arrogant. So be strong and courageous, all who put your hope in the Lord. Psalm chapter 32, a psalm of David. All with joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, with joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night, your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stop trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Therefore, let all the godly pray to you while there is still time, that they may not drown in the floodwaters of judgment. For you are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble. You surround me with songs of victory. The Lord says, I will guide you along the best pathway for your life. I will advise you and watch over you. Do not be like a senseless horse or mule that needs a bit and bridle to keep it under control. Many sorrows come to the wicked, but unfailing love surrounds those who trust the Lord. So rejoice in the Lord and be glad, all you who obey him. Shout for joy, all whose hearts are pure. Psalm 33. Let the godly sing for joy to the Lord. It is fitting for the pure to praise him. Praise the Lord with melodies on the lyre. Make music for him on the ten-stringed harp. Sing a new song of praise to him. Play skillfully on the harp. Sing with joy. For the word of the Lord holds true, and we can trust everything he does. He loves whatever is just and good. The unfailing love of the Lord fills the earth. The Lord merely spoke and the heavens were created. He breathed the word and all the stars were born. He assigned the sea its boundaries and locked the oceans in vast reservoirs. Let the whole world fear the Lord and let everyone stand in awe of him. For when he spoke, the world began. It appeared at his command. The Lord frustrates the plans of the nations and thwarts all their schemes. But the Lord's plans stand firm forever. His intentions can never be shaken. What joy for the nation whose God is the Lord, whose people he has chosen as his inheritance. The Lord looks down from heaven and sees the whole human race. From his throne he observes all who live on the earth. He made their hearts so he understands everything they do. The best equipped army cannot save a king, nor is great strength enough to save a warrior. Don't count on your war horse to give you victory. For all its strength, it cannot save you. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. He rescues them from death and keeps them alive in times of famine. We put our hope in the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him our hearts rejoice, for we trust in his holy name. 
Let your unfailing love surround us, Lord, for our hope is in you alone. Psalm 34, a psalm of David regarding the time he pretended to be insane in front of Abimelech who sent him away. I will praise the Lord at all times. I will constantly speak his praises. I will boast only in the Lord. Let all who are helpless take heart. Come, let us tell of the Lord's greatness. Let us exalt his name together. I prayed to the Lord and he answered me. He freed me from all my fears. Those who look to him for help will be radiant with joy. No shadow of shame will darken their faces. In my desperation I prayed and the Lord listened. He saved me from all my troubles. For the angel of the Lord is a guard. He surrounds and defends all who fear him. Taste and see that the Lord is good. All the joys of those who take refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his godly people. For those who fear him will have all they need. Even strong young lions sometimes go hungry. But those who trust in the Lord will lack no good thing. Come, my children, and listen to me, and I will teach you to fear the Lord. Does anyone want to live a life that is long and prosperous? Then keep your tongue from speaking evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn away from evil and do good. Search for peace and work to maintain it. For the eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. His ears are open to their cries for help. But the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. He will erase their memory from the earth. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. The righteous person faces many troubles. But the Lord comes to rescue each time. For the Lord protects the bones of the righteous. Not one of them is broken. Calamity will surely destroy the wicked. And those who hate the righteous will be punished. But the Lord will redeem those who serve him. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Psalm chapter 35. A Psalm of David. O Lord, oppose those who oppose me. Fight those who fight against me. Put on your armor and take up your shield. Prepare for battle and come to my aid. Lift up your spear and javelin against those who pursue me. Let me hear you say, I will give you victory. Bring shame and disgrace on those trying to kill me. Turn them back and humiliate those who want to harm me. Blow them away like chaff in the wind, a wind sent by the angel of the Lord. Make their path dark and slippery, with the angel of the Lord pursuing them. I did them no wrong, but they laid a trap for me. I did them no wrong, but they dug a pit to catch me. So let sudden ruin come upon them. Let them be caught in the trap they set for me. Let them be destroyed in the pit they dug for me. Then I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be glad because he rescues me. With every bone in my body, I will praise him. Lord, who can compare with you? Who else rescues the helpless from the strong? Who else protects the helpless and poor from those who rob them? Malicious witnesses testify against me. They accuse me of crimes I know nothing about. They repay me evil for good. I am sick with despair. Yet when they were ill, I grieved for them. I denied myself by fasting for them. But my prayers returned unanswered. I was sad, as though they were my friends or family, as if I were grieving for my own mother. But they are glad now that I am in trouble. They gleefully join together against me. I am attacked by people I don't even know. They slander me constantly. They mock me and call me names. They snarl at me. How long, O oh Lord, will you look on and do nothing? Rescue me from their fierce attacks. Protect my life from these lions. Then I will thank you in front of the great assembly. I will praise you before all the people. Don't let my treacherous enemies rejoice over my defeat. Don't let those who hate me without cause gloat over my sorrow. They don't talk of peace.
They plot against innocent people who mind their own business. They shout, Aha! Aha! With our own eyes we saw him do it. Oh Lord, you know all about this. Do not stay silent. Do not abandon me now, O oh Lord. Wake up. Rise to my defense. Take up my case, my God and my Lord. Declare me not guilty, O oh Lord, my God, for you give justice. Don't let my enemies laugh about me and my troubles. Don't let them say, look, we got what we wanted. Now we will eat him alive. May those who rejoice at my troubles be humiliated and disgraced. May those who triumph over me be covered with shame and dishonor. But give great joy to those who came to my defense. Let them continually say, Great is the Lord who delights in blessing his servant with peace. Then I will proclaim your justice, and I will praise you all day long. My Daily Walk a little boy who loved to listen to music was bitterly disappointed because he could neither play nor sing. But a kindly gentleman encouraged him with these words. There are many ways of making music. What matters is the song in your heart. That little boy, Antonio Stradivari, took the man at his word and became the world's greatest violin maker. Perhaps you have an equally low estimation of your own singing ability. If so... Psalm 33, 1-3 will challenge you with the privilege and responsibility of singing joyfully to the Lord, as if anticipating excuses, the psalmist opens with the command, not just a suggestion to sing. The character of God makes musical expression an appropriate part of worship, including instrumental arrangements, verse 2, songs of your own creation, and rousing expressions of praise. Verse 3, your sovereign creator is worthy of them all. Find a hymn book, and if possible, a willing friend or two for a time of musical rejoicing in the Lord. Music strikes in me a profound contemplation of the first composer. Amen to that. That's all for today, my friends. It was great reading along with you. Have a great day, and God bless, and I will see you tomorrow. Lord willing, peace.